Hello, I'm Annie Sloan. Welcome to the Warehouse Studio. So this is Ron Taylor from The Traditional Painter, and he's going to show me and work with me on showing you how to spray using my paint. Ron knows all about it. He's been experimenting a lot with it, and you know all about the percentages of water and all the rest of it. So, explain. What is this? Right. <laughs> right, this is a HVLP gun. That means high volume, low pressure. Basically, you fill the pot up with paint, you connect the end of the gun to a hose and a turbine. That turbine will force air through the front of the gun that will atomise the paint. That means break up the paint into small particles. There's also a tube in here that will pressurise the pot, which will force the paint up through the tube. And when you pull the trigger, the paint and the air will meet and you'll spray paint onto the surface. So let's find out how to actually spray paint. Right. Over to you, Ron. OK. So the paint needs to be thin for spray application. Yeah. Not too thin, but quite a bit thinner. So if you can, if you can lift the stick above the paint and you can swirl those lines, they called worm casts, that paint is too thick. That is one of the things that people don't realise, that my paint is thick, but you can add water to it. That's the whole point about it, that you can do thin, thick, spray, washers, textured, all sorts of things. That's one of the great beauties. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so we, we add the paint to the pot. Yep. We don't want to go too full, about just over half full. Okay. We add the water slowly. We don't want to go too thin right. straight from the start. Right. That's still too thick, so we're going to put a bit more water in there. So you would never say, I've just got to add quarter or, or whatever. You would just go adding until you feel it's the right amount. And how do you know when it's the right amount? Well, we know that it's the right amount when, as you lift the stick, it'll dissipate into itself, so you won't see any of the worm cast. The paint will go straight Ah, right, OK. Oh, that's itself. good, yeah. So actually, if it's a pot that's been open for a while, you'll find it's got thicker. So you'll have, have to add a bit more water there. It's not quite thin enough, but we are getting there. The paint is disappearing. Oh, yes. The worm casts are still there, but they disappear quickly yes. now. Yeah. But you want to get it so there's no worm cast at all. Or almost none. If, there's yeah. a, if, if it's a little bit, that's fine. But okay. it, they, anything thicker, the paint will come out and splatter. Right. That's so interesting. We want to make sure it's all stirred in. If you've got layers of thin paint and thick paint, what the, yeah. the gun will do, it'll spray the thick paint, yes. and then all of a sudden it'll hit some thin paint, right. and then it'll go thin, and it'll alter the finish. So, so you've really, want really to got to mix well. Yeah. So there we go. That's disappearing yeah. almost completely. Almost. And it's I still think got a little bit, but it's not... I think that will be OK, because it's a very small amount. So right. if we go with that, okay. I think we'll be fine. Good. So the paint's mixed. Yep. What we do, if we're going to be spraying downwards, something like a door, yeah. we want this tube facing towards the front of the gun. If we're spraying up in the air, yeah. that wants to be at the back. I see. Because the paint will automatically go to the back of the gun when it's like that. Wow. So when, that could be all covered in paint, so you've got to yeah. take it out and do that. Yes, it's okay. best to do it before. Before, before so we that's, start. yep, okay. good. All right. Right. So this is a door from a cabinet, a kitchen cabinet. So you would have taken them all off and you might have a load of them together. We've just got the one here. Um, it's really important with a kitchen cabinet to clean it. Because it could be, you know, if this has been up in a kitchen, it could be very oily and dirty. So use a degreaser. Um, there are loads on the market. You can just use soapy water as long as you make certain you get everything off. So don't have any residue. So we've got the paint all done, and so now what's the next step? Right, we fit the cup to the gun. It's best to do it like this, rather than trying to do it up in the air. There's a chance we could spill it. Yes. Make sure it's fairly tight. Haven't got to be super tight. Right. But it wants to be tight. Yeah. Okay. Then we connect the turbine to the gun. Yep. If you're right-handed, the angle wants to go that way. So oh, yes, there's an angle at that way, so that goes that way. So that's away from you, and if you're left-handed, obviously, it wants to go... You turn that round. ...the other okay. way. doesn't good. want to be down, because it'll get in the way of you. Gosh, those are really good tips, yeah. 
So all ready. Anything yeah. else we need to do? When we do any spraying, yeah. we need to wear a mask. Yeah. Uh, the airborne particles are quite dangerous. They'll get into your lungs and they can cause breathing difficulties yeah. later on. Yeah. Right, so we'll put that aside till we start spraying. So this is what they call a, a bleeder gun. The air's going to constantly come out of the, the gun at all times. It's so called a bleeder? A bleeder gun. Okay. Yeah. So there's no air adjustment. You've only got fluid adjustment and that's done fairly simply through that there. Right, so that stops or, or adjusts the amount of fluid going through? Yes, there's basically a cam in there. It's a simple adjustment. And, and as, you as you release it, the cam goes further away, lets the trigger go right. further back. Oh, I get it. Yeah. So that's all you need adjustment-wise. Mm -hmm. You do need to remember that if we are going to spray vertically, the horns of the gun need to be in line with the way you're spraying. So if we're going oh, down, right. okay. they, that needs to be like that. Right. If we're going horizontally, the horns need to be like that. If we go the wrong way and we set that to vertical and yeah. then we go that way, you'll get a big build-up of paint on yeah. the surface. Okay. And it, you don't and want that, it will be, yeah. Okay. It will run. So if I say we're going to go vertically first, mm -hmm. we start off at two, there, there's a one there, mm -hmm. a large one, and there's gradients between. If we start at two, mm -hmm. and we'll take it from there. Right, I'm just going to put my mask on Good. Uh, to test spray on the, on the rear wall. It's yeah. always best to wear a mask at any time. Yeah, good. It's going to be a bit noisy as well, so just far away, it doesn't matter. OK. I'm putting mine on too. There. It's a good look. Yeah. Fabulous, that really looks fantastic, it's beautiful, really smooth. And then you changed it and... Yeah, that just shows the two widths. Right. Oh, that, that's the thinnest we can go. Right. And that's as wide, wide as, as we can go. Yeah. So now let's go and do the cabinet. Okay. What we remember when we spray in, is we want to, to get a, a line of paint down and then we want to overlap it 50%, which means we aim the horns of the gun at the last line, and then everything will get two coats. If we just spray in lines, mm -hmm. you'll get misses mm -hmm. along where. Beautiful. Love it. So for some of you sharp-eyed, you'll see that actually this is quite stipply. It looks stipply. It doesn't look completely smooth. What would you say about that? Uh, yeah, because we've thinned it, that paint will, will settle out. It's gone, has gone a, a bit, little bit stipply, but as the paint tightens up, it will go back smooth. It will go completely smooth. Yeah. So a second coat, uh, do I need to wait for it completely and utterly dry? How long do you think that's going to take with it being quite thin, the paint? I think you'll be looking about, about an hour about for an the hour. second coat. Perfect. We don't want to be put in, if you put the second coat straight away, mm. I think that would be okay. But if once the paint started to dry, you'll get different finishes in different areas. So there you are, that's it, done, very simple. We've had two coats of paint on there, um, beautiful finish. Now, what I need to do now is either wax it or lacquer it. 